Rocket salad with chicken breast and oil and vinegar a la Wilbur. The first and hopefully last meal I will ever prepare in this castle. Count? Yes, Igor? Your table awaits, Master. Is that to your satisfaction? Mmm, yes, delightful. Thank you, Master. I have prepared the, um, uh, salad for the young lady. Rocket salad with vinegar oil and strips of chicken breast? Yes, um, exactly. Excellent. Pull the cord, Igor. Let my little bunny rabbit know it's time to eat. Count? Yes, Igor? Master, this scroll was in the post box. Hmm, from Seastone. Archmage murdered, wanted, blah blah, nothing of any importance. Um, are you sure? I'm not interested in politics. Kings and archmages come and go. Yeah, yes, yes, you're right. No reason to burden yourself with such things. There's a picture of the Archmage and me on the cover. Even if the Count isn't interested in politics, he's not likely to let a wanted murderer work for him. He would hand me over to the Van Burens if he noticed. How can I make sure that the bell in Miss Kiki's room rings? It depends on how hard you pull it. Pull a bit harder than middle strength to start with, and then about a third less at the end. Okay. No! Middle strength to start with, then a bit less at the end. No! That was the stables. Why don't you just do what I tell you? There you go. I don't need you anymore today, Igor. I will be spending the rest of the evening and the night with my fiancée. Very well, Master. Hey, Shorty! Oh, hello, Miss Kiki. What's with this place? Where's the gold? Gold? Yeah, jewelry, precious stones, that sort of thing. I ain't found none. Maybe the Count isn't that rich. A Count living in a big castle? Of course he's rich. The only question is, where is he hiding it? Hey, what's that? I wanted to talk to you about that. It's sealed by seven, um, seals. Maybe you could open one of them. Ooh, what do you think, Santa? Um, what could a chest like this hold? A treasure, of course. You have to learn to lie better, and quickly. But the fact that you are trying tells me there must be something valuable in it. I don't know, but it must be important. Well, if it's important to someone, it'll also be valuable. And you want to steal it? Well, steal... Count me in.
As future countess, it practically belongs to me anyways. What do I have to do? Come with me. Just open that seal over there. Why don't you do it? I can't. It has to be opened by someone very special. Ah, I understand. You need a woman's touch. Something like that. Well, that was simple. That it? That's it. Interesting to know that you could do it. Tell me when you got that thing open, and don't even think about simply disappearing with my stuff. Very well, Miss Kiki. Now, I'll go humor the old fart. I'm sure with a little persuasion, I'll be able to find out where he stashed the rest of his treasure. This was the first seal, or the third, depending on how you count them. Van Buren is pointing at a key. Is he trying to mock me? Could that be the invisible key that is visible to all? Only? Where is it? Ha! Ah, that's just a picture. How am I supposed... Or is it? That's a pretty neat trick. The Count has opened the first two seals using the instructions in the diary. That leaves five. The seal is supposed to open when you say the word open in Rattish. Obviously, Van Buren spoke more languages than I do. This seal is opened by an invisible key that is visible to all. What could that be? That was easy. So, that's over half the seals open. The Archmage can do all kinds of tricks. Maybe he can separate the spirit from his body. I guess I'm supposed to summon him as a ghost. Maybe he's too weak to appear any other way. Summoning a ghost. This shouldn't be all that difficult. Mr. Mayor. Hello, Mr. Weathervane. Someone like you knows all about summoning ghosts, right? What do you mean, someone like me? Well, an expert on the occult, like yourself. Oh, well, <laughs> I will actually do know a bit more about it than just how to keep the beasts at bay. <laughs> I mean, I've certainly never tried to invoke a ghost. What? Why should I? <laughs> but it is, in principle, very easy. Now, you draw a circle on the ground with chalk and a triangle outside the circle. You place a bowl of blood in the triangle. And you also have to light some frankincense. Then you have to draw the symbol of the ghost you'd like to invoke on the ground while reciting a secret invocation. Mm. How does it go? Come over here. Ghosts have good ears. Okay, then that's it. Yeah, that's it. All good so far. I have to be getting on. Till next time. Goodbye. Hmm. 
at the edge are pieces of charcoal. I wonder whether I can use it as a substitute for chalk during the summoning. I'm sure you can draw with it. At least my fingers are black with the stuff. And I can't really imagine Archmage Alistair caring about whether he's summoned using white chalk or black charcoal. You can't be picky with that sort of thing. How is your salad, my Aurora? Mmm, real good, darling. It's not easy to get chicken to taste a chicken. My compliments to the chef. We're all just doing our best to make you feel at home, precious. Whew, looks like I got away with it. It's not frankincense, but these incense sticks will create some atmosphere. Theoretically, I need blood, but maybe this thick red wine will do the trick. I think it's safe to take a closer look at the letter now. The Count's distracted. Wanted for the murder of Archmage Alistair, the scurvy, dangerous, armed and stinky fiend Wilbur Weathervane. The Honourable Council Leader Van Buren has posted a reward of the villain's weight in gold, naked, before breakfast, for the apprehension of the offender. It's followed by a detailed description of me, not like it was even necessary. This picture of me next to the Archmage is razor sharp. The amount of detail the engravers carved into the printing plates is amazing. I wonder if Lizzie will turn me in if she learns of the pile of gold. A lovely glass with a thick bottom. Glasses made of perfect transparent glass like this are very rare and expensive. I could use the glass as a magnifying glass to see more details. Yes, it works! The little label at the back says I'm only supposed to wash my professor's robe by hand in cool water. Whoever did this engraving really had an eye for detail. That's the first step.
I still can't believe that this smell is important for summoning a ghost, but what the heck? Atmosphere. Pure atmosphere. Right then. To summon the Archmage, I have to draw his symbol on the floor while reciting the spell. Unfortunately, I don't know the right symbol. I could use the glass as a magnifying glass to see more details. Yes, it works! The little label at the back says I'm only supposed to wash my professor's robe by hand in cool water. Whoever did this engraving really had an eye for detail. In the picture of the Archmaidom, you can see the smallest detail. You can even see the big red pimple I had on my nose that day. I could use the glass as a magnifying glass. Yes! It, the little label at the back whoever did this engraving. In the picture of the Archmaidom, you can see the smallest detail. You can even see the big red pimple I had on my nose that day. In the picture of the Archmaidom, you can even see... I could use the glass as a magnifying glass to see more details. Yes! The little label at the back says I'm only... Whoever did this... The glass is quite heavy. This is certainly due to the bottom of the glass, which is almost two imp thumbs thick. Right then, to summon the Archmage, I have to draw his symbol on the floor while reciting the spell. Unfortunately, I don't know the right symbol. In the picture of the Archmaidom, you can see the smallest detail. You can even see the big red pimple I had on my nose that day. I could use the glass as a magnifying glass to see more details. Yes, it works! The little label at the back says I'm... Whoever did this engraving really had... I find it odd that Count Olaf bought a castle in the dark woods. Most old people love the heat and the sun. There's not a lot of either here. Maybe he burns easily. In the picture of the Archmaidom, you can see the smallest detail. You can even see the big red pimple I had on my nose that day.
I could use the glass as a magnifying glass to see more detail. Yes! The little label of the... Whoever did this... Hmm. There really is a lot of detail in the picture of the Archmage and me. If it weren't so tiny, you could probably even recognize the Archmage's family crest on his amulet thing. I think it's... Um... Oh, no, it's just too small. I could use the glass as a magnifying glass to see more details. Yes, it works! There's the Archmage's neck, and there's his thing with the family crest. It shows two serpents in a kind of knot, biting their own tails. Would have been easier if the Archmage's symbol were a stick figure or a cross. That would have been easier to draw than two knotted snakes. <clears throat> hey, ghost! Drag your translucent butt here now. Got the stuff? The power of coal compels you. Those were exactly the ancient words that Mr. Whale whispered in my ear. Just doesn't seem to... Yes! Archmage Alistair! Thank the coal! Wilbur, I'm happy to see you too. But I don't have much time and there is much to say. I did everything wrong, Archmage. I built the golem and I let Remy down and I brought Timmy here and... and... Uh, and... You have done nothing wrong, Wilbur. Yes, I have. I wanted to help and I let myself be fooled and that's why you were transformed. And then I didn't do anything instead and that was wrong too. Remy, Remy is dead, Archmage. He is not. At least I don't believe he is. Yes, he is. He died in my hands. No, you were tricked again. This book you are searching for, it contains no information about how to destroy the wand. But if not Remy, then... Mancus! He's letting you do his dirty work for him. The book does contain powerful spells. But it won't help you destroy the wand. Mancus wants to use its power for his own ends. Why does Mancus want this book? What's he up to? The Kitab al-Azif was written by a mad mystic called Al-Hazred. It is a book about demonic cosmology and contains magic spells with which one can summon mighty beings. Including the Nameless One? I don't think that Mancus wants to set the Nameless One free. Even he isn't mad enough to do that. He wants to open a window into the dungeon dimension in order to siphon the Nameless One's powers. Sounds dangerous. It's impossible. Any weakness in the structure of the dungeon dimension would be instantly used by the Nameless One to escape his prison. He is incredibly powerful, and he is dreadful, Wilbur. If the book is so dangerous, we should destroy it. Or we could just leave it in the chest. It's already been there for decades. Powerful objects have a tendency to be found. You have to destroy the book. Monkus must not get hold of it. Why did Monkus send me? And where is he? That's worrying me too. He won't be sitting around idle awaiting your return, that's for sure. He'll have a plan. At least he doesn't know we're on to him.
He believes I'm bringing the book back to Seastone to use it to destroy the wand. Yes, the magic wand. The book alone will not be sufficient to open a window into the dungeon dimension. It will take a complicated mechanism using black magic and an incredible magic force to penetrate the dungeon of the Nameless One. The mechanism of which you speak? There's one like that in the temple under Seastone. Yes, Ivo told me about it. It was under my nose for all those years and I never noticed. Mancus doesn't have the book yet and I can't imagine the Van Buren's working with him either. Without them, the wand is useless. Those are the only trump cards we hold. He needs the book and the wand. And while he is chasing after those, we will destroy the machine. How can I destroy the book from the chest? It's just a book. You can tear it and burn it. That sounds doable. However, you should be aware that there are other copies of the book. Over the centuries, there has always been the odd one appearing and then disappearing again. That means we won't be safe as long as the magic wand and the machine still exist. Correct. As soon as the book has been destroyed, you will have to travel to Seastone and help your friends to destroy the machine. That won't be very easy. Monkus will defend it. And we won't be getting the mighty Van Buren wand just like that either. Hmm. No. There has to be a better way. We have to trick Monkus, surprise him and beat him at his own game. That's the Wilbur Weathervane that taught the Shadow Army the meaning of fear. Open the chest and get the book to safety. Easier said than done. Do you know what the Breath of Death could be referring to? I think I know. How did you do that? I don't just look like a ghost, Wilbur. I am one. What do you mean? I am dead. No! <laughs> You're not dead. You're the Archmage. You, you were transformed and Ivor wanted to change you back. And she managed that. But then I had to go, Wilbur. I am so weak that you had to help me to appear here. But, 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 how, how are we supposed to, uh, I mean, without you? So far, you've managed pretty well without me, my friend. Did you know that Timmy's a were-rat? Yes. Remy came to me after Timmy's parents were killed by a werewolf. Timmy's injuries weren't bad, but I knew that he would change at the next full moon. Did you look for the werewolf who did this to him? I mean... If you kill the werewolf, Timmy is healed, isn't he? Imagine that Timmy made someone else into a werewolf while he was transformed. Would you want that person to come and kill Timmy in order to release Timmy's curse from them? I... I never thought of it that way. The curse of a werewolf is an illness that one has to learn to control. It is hard, and Remy and I didn't want to place this burden on little Timmy up to now. We just let him change and let off a little bit of steam. But if he has now changed uncontrollably, you will have to teach him how he can manage the curse, Wilbur. How is Princess Ivo doing? Is she well? I sent her and Critter to Seastone to keep Monkers out of the underground temple for as long as possible. Perhaps they might even manage to destroy the machine. Critter is with Princess Ivo? Then Captain Nade can't be far off! Finally, some good news! You have friends at your side, yes. I'm supposed to stop the apocalypse and fight a powerful sorcerer while the country is in chaos. How am I supposed to do all that? I'm not a mage anymore. That's exactly the point. No one can do all these things on their own. But you and Ivo, the rats, the inhabitants of Seastone, together you stand a chance. Don't wait for a messiah who is going to wave his magic wand and make everything okay again. Do it yourselves. But the people all want something else. 
and lots of them only think of themselves. That's why role models are required. Do what you think is right and others will follow you. I have always valued you for your tenacity and your friendliness. You are never cruel nor cowardly. You never give up and never give in. Onwards, Wilbur Weathervane, with friendliness and courage in your heart, and lead others by good example. And perhaps carry a flag or something like that, so that people further back can see you. Hey! Mean! How... how can you be dead? My death wasn't in vain. I went at the height of my powers. That's the stuff of legends. But... but... it wasn't your time. Not even close. I did just buy a new pair of shoes that I was keen to break in. I wanted to give my cleaning lady a nice present for her birthday next week. I have still got posts to deal with and would have liked to have spent a few more evenings sitting on my balcony. I don't think one is ever ready to go, but I'm gone now and others will have to step up and fight in my stead. Earlier you said one can learn to control the werewolf curse. How? When he is a were-rat, Timmy is possessed by bad feelings. Anger, aggression, hate, they're like a shield surrounding him. And underneath it's still the same old Timmy. Ah! The first time we ran into each other in the woods, he didn't attack me right away. He hesitated. Something in the monster recognized you, and that something is the tiny piece that still remains of Timmy, a candle in a hurricane. How can I get through to him? Timmy's primitive feelings have taken control. If you want to reach him, you'll only get through to him on that level. A smell, a voice, a tune, simple things, little things, which could cut through the storm to reach Timmy. And once he starts listening to me? Then tell him not to give in to the anger and hate, that he shouldn't let himself be ruled by bad feelings anymore. He must think. It will be a difficult task, but if anyone can reach him and get him back, then it's a friend like you. My time in this world is over, Wilbur. Will you come and visit me as a ghost sometimes and give me some good advice? No, my friend. You know everything that you need to know. Don't go. If you want to honor my memory, then lead your life in line with all that I've taught you. And don't leave cupboard doors open. Farewell, Wilbur Weathervane. Yes? Do you know the tune that Timmy likes to whistle? Yes. His mother used to hum that tune to him when he couldn't sleep. I did the same whenever he had nightmares. How does it go? La, 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 la. Like that. I was able to summon Archmage Alistair's ghost. That's all he is anymore. A ghost. You mean, he's dead? Princess Ivo changed him back, but then... I don't exactly know what happened then. I didn't know him personally, but from what I've heard, he was a very wise man. And he had a big heart. A rare combination. He also had the oddest sense of humor. He once claimed he taught a bunch of otters a musical number in his youth. Weird. I'd have loved to have seen that. Me too. See you later, Esther. I have to go. Bye.
I wonder if Lizzie took a werewolf trap with her, or is it still there under the leaves? If there's still even just a little Timmy in the were-rat, this will do the trick. Timmy loves bratwurst. Oh no! He jumped right over it! Timmy. Ouch! I knew you were in there, Timmy. A were-rat would never have been interested in sausages. That's all you. Fight it! Archmage Alistair said we could probably get through to Timmy with a tune. It's worth a try. That's it! Remember, Timmy? Your mother used to sing this tune to you when you couldn't fall asleep. Remember! Concentrate! Think about the good and friendly things, not the hate. You're not a monster, you're a little rat and you're loved. I'm so sorry. You have nothing to be sorry about. Nothing happened. Oh, I didn't want any of this to happen. Did I... did I hurt anyone? No. I think you make a pretty bad werewolf, rat. <laughs> hey. Mancus tricked me for the second time, Timmy. He disguised himself as your uncle in the cave and then sent me here. Then, perhaps Uncle Remy is still alive. Maybe he is. I'm sure he is. Uncle Remy can't be beaten that easily. We have to look for him. You can bet on that, but I need to find the book first. But if Mancus wants the book, then it must be evil. In the wrong hands, it could mean the end of the world. We have to find it. And then we'll look for Uncle Remy. Deal. I found this. You must have lost it. Oh, my neckerchief. Now that's the Timmy de Dumas I know. Why didn't you tell me about the curse earlier? I... I didn't know how. And I was worried you'd be scared of me. Most people are scared of werewolves. And for good reason. We can't control ourselves, you know. We don't realise when we do evil. Yes, but the Archmage Alistair said you can learn to control the curse. The Archmage? Is he alright? Let's... let's talk some more about that tomorrow. I think you've had enough adventures for one day. I think I know where the sorcerer hid the book. But to get to it, I have to know how to say open in Rattish. Open? Exactly, but in Rattish. Open? Have you never noticed that we talk to each other? You mean Rattish is exactly the same as our language? No, your language is like ours. Rats and big people have lived side by side for so long, you've picked up the odd thing or two. <laughs> Amazing! The magic word is open. Hey, I know Rattish. Let's get back to the others. You must be dead tired. Can I hide under your hat again? The moon is so bright. Of course, for as long as you want.
Esther? Yes? Look who I have here. Timmy, is he all right? Just completely exhausted. Give him to me. He can rest in my pocket. Esther, can I... can I have another sausage? But of course, my darling. You did well, Wilbur Weathervane. Ah, cheers. See you later, Esther. I have to go. Bye.